This video is going to show you the very basic fundamentals of using the pen tool and creating something from scratch. Now the pen tool is located over here. If you click and hold on it, there are a bunch of options that come up, but I'm not going to worry about these at all because everything we're going to do, we're going to do with keyboard shortcuts. It's just much easier. Now their default, you should have auto add and delete checked. We'll talk about that in a second. And you'll probably have rubber band checked. That's fine. Just leave it that way. Now what we're going to do is we are going to create a shape, just showing you how to use the tool. I'm going to create the shape on a new layer. So right now I just have the background, which is full of white. If I click the new layer button, I get a new layer, but layer, and you can see that this checker pattern is here. That means there is nothing. It is clear like glass. So I'm going to double click this, and I'm going to name this layer practice. And you will want to do that as well. This is the habit you want to get into. Now, what I'm going to do is I'm going to come over here onto the paths, because we're going to create a path with the pen tool. That's what it's for. Paths are like blueprints. There's nothing there right now because I haven't created anything. So what I'm going to do with the pen tool is I'm going to click, and every time I click, it creates an anchor, which the lines are anchored to, and I'm going to create a square. You will notice when I come back to my first one that I get a small circle icon next to my pen tool. This means that I am closing the shape and completing it. So I click on that. I now have a square and now my paths up here, you can see that my work path is a square. Now, what do I do to this? Well, if I hover over the anchor, you can see that I get a minus. If I click on it, the anchor goes away. I'm going to undo that command or control Z. This is what we have auto add and delete. If I click here on the line, you can see it turns into a plus. That means when I click on it, it will add an anchor. Now I need to do this in order to make a curved line. So because if I don't do this, I will undo again. If I just click on this and try to drag, this will happen. It'll be like, what the heck is this? Okay, so Command Z, undo that. So here's how we do this. We want to make a curve. I'm going to click to add an anchor. I'm now going to hold down my Command or Control button, and you can see I get a small white arrow. This is called a Direct Select tool, which is actually right here, but the shortcut is just so much easier than changing it. Hold down my Command Control key, click on that anchor, drag it out, I get a curve. These are called handles. If I click and drag on the handles, I can bend the line. Think like a crowbar in a garden hose. I know there's really no good analogy for that, but that's the best I can think of. I can also stretch this out, but you can see that it manipulates the shape of the line. We'll get there in a second. So I'm going to bend this into a nice smooth curve. I come over here. Remember my default with holding nothing down. I get the plus, add an anchor, hold down my command control, click on the anchor, drag it out, click on the handles, adjust them into a nice smooth curve. Awesome. Okay, we'll do that one more time. Click that an anchor, hold down command control, bend it in, stretch those out, click that an anchor, command control, bend this in, stretch this out. Okay, so so far so good. We had this weird sort of axe, double bladed axe shape, and you can see that's up there on the path. Now, I'm going to make this dent in. So I'm going to click that an anchor, click that an anchor, hold down command control, grab that middle anchor bend it in. And this is well and good, but let's just say that I want this corner to be sharp, like this corner is a sharp turn rather than a curved turn. This is where our second keyboard comes in. I hold down the Alt Option key, this turns into an arrow. Okay, Alt Option key turns into an arrow. Now when I grab this handle, it changes this to a sharp corner. If I don't do that, if I just hold down the Command Control key, it keeps the corner curved. So. Alt Option key changes that to a sharp corner. Now, just so you know, if I hold down my Alt Option key and click on this anchor, it changes it from this smooth curve into, you guessed it, a sharp corner. Command Control button, and you can see there's a sharp corner rather than a curve. So let's try this again. Add an anchor, add an anchor, Command Control, grab that anchor, pull this in, Alt Option key, grab the handle, sharp corner, alt option key, grab the handle, sharp corner, alt option key, turn that into a sharp corner, command and control, pull this back. I know it's kind of weird, but it's kind of like learning a new video game control. You just have to do it a little bit to make it work. Now, to make this into a letter, I know it looks like an X or something like that right now, but this is just sort of the final step. You can see my path I have up here, down at the bottom of my paths, there's a small dotted button, circle. I click on that, 
and it turns this into a selection. You see these, these are called marching ants for a good reason. Okay? The marching ants makes it a selection. I go back to my layers. I am on my practice layer. I come over here. You see these three dotted lines. I'll click on this. Your default thing will give you a paint bucket. I'm on black, which is fine. I click on that. There's my shape. I hold Command D for deselect and bang, that sucker is ready. It's on its own layer and we can now move this around and we're ready to roll. Basic skills.